Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. <laughs> and I'm Becky. <laughs> Welcome to Vickering Book Reviews. You have to think about that it. That day when you forget your name. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be good. We've been registering kids for summer reading and we <laughs> asked their age and they're all like, they look at me like, I don't know my age. And I was like, it's okay. I have to do the math in my head whenever anybody asks me how old I am. <laughs> I can't do math in my head. <laughs> anyway. So I'll never know my age. Anyway. I don't really want to ever know my age. Okay, so today we're talking about The Evil Queen by, is it Gina? I think it's Gina Showalter. I think Gina is what Showalter. it said on the, on the audiobook. Okay, Gina. Got it. Anyway, so, in this fantasy world, the queen is expected to give birth to a child within the first year of marriage, or she will be killed. The timeline is running out for the queen, so she and several confidants seek out the tree of life and death for its fruits, which will ensure that they all have a child. However, the king doesn't want to share the fruit, and those who eat the apples will help children tied to a special fate. Everly and her twin sister Hartley are a result of the fruit from the tree of life and death. Their mother escaped their fantasy world into our real world so that the king would not murder them. The twins know that they are destined to play a role in the classic Snow White fairy tale, while Hartley can talk to animals and friend and is friends with everyone, Everly is feared by all and has a fascination with mirrors. Everly is convinced she knows her role in the fairy tale, though she would do anything to make it not true. After Ella Everly kills her mother with her new power, she flees to the fantasy realm to learn more about herself and protect her sister. Yes. So this book, I didn't even know how to, to like to summarize it though, because there's like there's nothing that grabs you. There's you nothing know? like. It's, there's nothing that grabs you, and you don't want to give too much away, no. but, like, really, like, what you give away, like, it's not that earth-shattering. It was so, it was very frustrating and disappointing. Yeah, it took us, like, weeks to read this book. Oh, I, I which, it was literally 20 days. I started it on May 30th, and I finished it yesterday, <clears throat> June 20th. That, I mean, and that never, like, no, never has. I had to keep, like, walking away from it. And, like, literally, I think I read 250 pages yesterday because I had to. And I was, it was just no. And so I really, really, really liked Gina Showalter's, were they the White Rabbit Chronicles? That was, like, a zombie take on Alice the in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland zombie ones, yeah. But I think it's called, I think it's got something out, like, a different title. I loved those. And then I was looking back on Goodreads, and I've read other books by, teen books by her. And I didn't like it. Was it was like Afterlife or First Life or something? And I really didn't care for that. And honestly, the spinoff book of the Alice in Wonderland books, I didn't really care for either. So, and I think part of it is because her adult romance is showing. You know what I mean? Like, in this book, it it's not a teen... Like, you can tell that it's an adult romance writer writing for teen books and not doing it as well as teen writers. But I feel like even, like, the, the romancy part didn't really feel like an adult romance book. I mean, but it got, like, adult romance steamy and kind of flat. Like, a lot I, of the... Yeah. It was, like, so <laughs> I've read, when I'm, like, really stressed out and, like, I need to not think, I'll read those, like, um, paperback bodice rippers, right? The ones that are formulaic. Right. And so, like, those scenes can be very flat. And I feel like the romance scenes in this were flat like those are. See, I've never read one of her adult romance books. Because, like, I do. Like, I read about an adult romance book a month, I would say. Which you can agree with. But the ones I'm reading aren't, like, the formulaic. Like, I mean, they are formulaic, but they aren't. Yeah, no, I've read, like, the, the, little, the little baby ones. No, I've, I've read some Harley <laughs> ones, but, yeah, I just. And I, I read a couple of them for a while, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I feel the formula. I'm done for right now. <laughs> I just, yeah. And so the problem, though, is, like, okay, this book is, like, 530-some-odd pages long. It did not need to be 530-some-odd pages long. And I don't know if she should have split the story, made it a duology and split it. But it is a series already. Well. But you're talking about this book specifically. This specific book. Because it's just, it feels like there's both not enough and too much story. Yeah. The characters aren't really developed. So they aren't developed. And like I, like the character arc of Everly makes no sense. Like why does nobody like her in the real world? It like. Magic. I, I mean, but like. <laughs> <laughs> what's. So, I, like, why does nobody like her? Like, they hate her on sight, and there's, like, no believable or, like, developed reason. And then, like, as the story continues on, she becomes this character who's, like, I mean, who's really kind of generally a good person that but, like, there are parts, doesn't make sense. Like, it keeps going on, and I'm like, come on, really? No, I've just taken a bunch <coughs> of creative writing classes, and they're like, you can't say things like, it's magic, it's a curse. Like, you have to actually develop it. But the other thing is, it's like... Magic. 
I kind of, so the Prince Charming was Roth, and I kind of liked Roth, and I kind of liked Roth and Everly, and, like, that's where I got really frustrated was because their interactions, there was, like, a spark of this could be great. It's almost like it needed to have, like, 100 pages edited out. Maybe. Reworked. I mean, it needed to be reworked. I, yeah. I mean, because I think it was... I, and I wasn't completely on board with Roth. However, there were certain aspects of him that were interesting because I like that they were out and out flirty with each other. Right. Like, you don't see that very no. often. No. But or at that's, least I haven't. that's more of an adult romance thing than a teen adult, a teen romance book. That's true. Because if you think about it, like... No, that's true. Yeah. Um, oh, and I don't know if we said this, but I got I downloaded it off of NetGalley so I could put it on my Kindle. Oh, and I, um, yeah, I just read the, the physical art. I it wasn't going to happen. Anymore. It wasn't going to happen. The font was little, and the book was just so big. The book was really big. I'm like, yeah. Um, and I still don't know how, like, all of the people, like, I'm still kind of working through the ending. I don't really want to think too much about it, because I'm like... I'm done. I'm ready to be done. I'm but, done. Like, I finished it. I'm done. <laughs> but, like, the ending still just doesn't oh, no. gel right. No. For me. No. <clears throat> None of it gelled right. And that was, it was almost like... She wrote all these pieces and parts and mushed them together without making it make sense. Which is hard because, like, I mean, you've already got Snow... Like, you've got Snow White. You've got Fairy Tale Land. Like, a lot of the structure is already there. Well, and I was telling my brother what I was reading because I was, like, mumbling and how long it was taking me to read it. And he's like, isn't there a TV show like that? I was like, no. This is very different. <laughs> the bones are there. The bones are there. We can rate it. <laughs> um, all right. So our rating scale goes down... Go, goes from five unicorns down to two unicorns and we didn't like it doesn't get a horn and is therefore a horse where are you i'm like fluctuating between a one and a two i'm gonna go with a two because there were like little sparks of i actually i would start enjoying it then i'd be like oh no never mind no i can agree with that like yeah i will give it a two two a two as well because there were like 30 to 50 pages spurts that I'd be like, oh, okay, maybe, and no. But, like, but it was there. Like, there was something there. Yeah. It could have been good. So that is where we are on Evil Queen by Dina Shalwater. See you around. Bye.